Shit, that's fresh. Oh, hey guys. I feel like it has been so long since I filmed like an actual video because my last actual video was a vlog, which spoiler alert, there are definitely more vlogs coming your way because I loved the whole process of vlogging and editing. It was so much fun and the response from you guys was so great. So expect more of those, but today we're here to do September favorites. I, I really do look forward to these because, you know, I get to talk about like the best of the best. It's the stuff, the cream of the crop that rose to the top over the last month. Before we dig in, I just want to say if you are new here, please hit that big red subscribe button and become a part of the Kate the Great family. And also hit that notification bell because that is what is going to let you know anytime I drop a new video. So first we're gonna start with some eyeshadow and this is what I'm actually wearing on my eyes right this very moment. This was an eyeshadow set that was gifted to me by the lovely Stephanie Windsor. So thank you so much to Stephanie because I'm obsessed. So this is the Kosas Limited Edition 10 second eyeshadow set. It is called the Mixed Metals Trio. I featured this eyeshadow, which is called Astronaut, on my recent live stream, and I was blown away by this shade. I don't have anything like this in my makeup collection. Someone described it as a sheer gunmetal and I think that is the perfect way to describe this shade. It's somewhere between like a silver and a gray and a blue but it's not quite any of those things. You guys know I love a one and done and I especially love a one and done that's a little bit different. It looks like you you know put more work into it than you actually did. That's what I feel like this shade is. And then it also comes with the shades Globe and Supreme. I'm gonna swatch these for you since I don't have these on. Do you see the formula? Do you see it's literally like water that they apply so sheer and so easily they're really really easy to blend out with your finger so this is globe and this is the shade supreme wow wowie wow so that's super gold this is more like bronzy rose goldish this is really sort of a bright gold shade so this is directly from the kosas website it says made with a clean water-based fast drying crease resistant formula for buildable high impact color that lasts all night. Okay, so run, do not walk because this set is currently on sale for 58% off. It was originally $84 and it is $35 right now. I will tell you that my favorite color in the trio, Astronaut, is only available in this trio. You cannot purchase this separately. And honestly, for this $35 sale price, it's worth it just to get this shade. I am absolutely in love with it. Mm. Okay, next, moving on to a mascara. I feel like I have so many amazing amazing mascaras in rotation, but this I have been wearing a lot this month and I've gotten a lot of compliments when I do wear it. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. So if you can see this wand, two sides are flat and then two sides have the bristles. So what you wanna do, the idea behind it is you want to use the flat side first to go in add density, push up your lashes, and then you go in with the bristles and comb through your lashes and get that length. So this is a two-in-one and it has the same effect for me as when I use my Monsieur Big and then I go in with my Benefit Roller Lash after that. It wears really well. I don't have any flaking or transfer or anything like that. It comes off really easily. I love this. Oh wow, that sun is just really creeping on into my shoulder. Next, I'm moving on to an eyeliner. This is the Fenty Beauty fly pencil in the shade purple stuff. This was gifted to me by Sherry Ford. So thank you so much, Sherry Ford. You guys know I'm a fan of the Marc Jacobs highlighter. You know, I'm a fan of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On liners. Bold statement, this for me is better than both of those eyeliners. I definitely want to get more shades. I only have it in this shade, but if you are looking for something that is a little bit different, but not too different, I highly suggest this. You know, it's just a really, just a really nice, sort of deep purple shade to add a little bit of interest, like more so than a black or a brown eyeliner. This goes on into my waterline like that. Like usually, you know, with other eyeliners, I'll kind of have to go over my waterline a couple times to make sure that pigment stays. Not with the fancy fly liner, baby. So next I'm gonna move on to a brush. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer. 
color brush. The person who convinced me to get this was Sarah of Better Off Red and it did not disappoint. She described it as basically like a finger setting your concealer under your eye and she was not wrong, which sounds a little bit creepy, but it actually is just a perfect fit for your under eye and just flawlessly blends concealer. So I have been using that instead of a sponge and I love it. Also, it's just the price is right. It's $16 and Boop. Okay, so next I'm moving on to a limited edition holiday situation. It is a lip gloss bundle. This is the Fenty, let me pull up the name, it's so damn long, hold please. The Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Mini Gloss Bomb Set Holidays Edition. So if you guys remember it, last year they put out a special gloss bomb holiday set. I was obsessed with it. I loved it so much that I actually purchased a second, a backup, because you know, I knew it was gonna go away. The shade that I have on right now is Cake Shake love the names. They're all so gorgeous. I think this is totally worth it. I love every single shade. I do think Cake Shake is my favorite because it's just like the perfect soft, sexy, plumping nude. Then you have the shade Baby Brute, Ruby Milk, and Taffy Tease. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of Baby Brute just because, just because I can. So shiny, so emollient. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I was drinking. What, who am I? What's happening? This is just, it's because I'm bored. It's because I'm basically having this all the time, but this is a Hendrix and seltzer. Woohoo! I mean, it's very refreshing, but I mean. I don't think I featured these in a favorites video and that's just, that's that's a crime. They have to be mentioned. These are the Rare Beauty Lip Souffles. Guys, I know you've heard me talk about these a lot and that I just, I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't care because you need to go out and try one for yourself. This is the most comfortable matte lip product I have ever used. Uh, I think I've featured most every shade I have in like an Instagram post or, you know, a live stream, but I'm just gonna go put one on right now. So this is like a fabulous pastel pink. This is called Energize. Oh, I just love it. I just love it so much. Like if that isn't the most beautifully diffused, blotted looking 1960s lip you've ever seen, I don't know what is. I feel like we need to refilm Valley of the Dolls just right this very moment. I currently have five shades and they are all flawless. And honestly, I, I couldn't even tell you which is my favorite. If you do not purchase one of these, I will find you and I will come to your house and we will have very serious talk. Well, I think I would be remiss if I did not mention the brand new Hourglass limited edition face palette. This is called Sculpture. Did I need more Hourglass? Nope, sure didn't. But this is just such a beautiful, smart palette. Like if you're traveling, forget about it. Just throw this in your case and go. So you have two of their setting powders here. You have a highlight, you have a bronzer, and then you have two of their blushes. This is their blush in Mood Exposure, which is the normal blush and this is a more intense blush in the shade Vibrant Flush, and that is what I have on my cheeks today. If you're an Hourglass lover, great, get it. If you've never tried Hourglass, even better. Just get this, because it just has it all. I actually just went back and forth with my powder brush with these two setting powders, and I just set my face with that today. It just gave me like a really nice natural glur. In fact, I'm gonna just go in some more. Yeah, and I also am wearing the highlight from that palette. Also, the bronzer is just stunning. You guys know my favorite glowy bronzer that exists is an hourglass bronzer. This is definitely worth the money. Also, the shade Mood Exposure right here is just a really beautiful wearable fall blush shade. So we're moving away from makeup and I'm gonna talk about a device. I'm pulling her out, guys. You've seen her before. This is my Dr. Dennis Gross. This also has the longest name on earth. You can see it in the description box. I like to call it my Dr. Dennis Gross Iron Man mask. I did get this during the Nordstrom sale and I do not regret it. I use it every single day because the key with LED light therapy is that you want to be very consistent with it. If you are consistent with it, it absolutely does build collagen in your skin. So this is what the outside of it looks like. I mean, I've shown a lot of you this before, but this is what the inside looks like. It has these handy dandy straps right here. So you put it on. I mean, 
don't put it on with makeup. This is not how you do it. But anyway, just to show you, it has three different settings. So you have red light, which helps with collagen production. I'm going to close my eyes because blue light is supposed to be really not good for your eyes. But the blue light is for acne. And then you have a combination of the red and the blue together. What I will do is I will usually start my mornings with this. I will cleanse my face and then I'll put this on. And when you hit the button, each session times out at three minutes. So it'll turn off every three minutes with red LED light. Penn Smith Skin Care told me, and I trust her with my damn life. She told me that I can just go to town at the red LED light. Like I could literally do that like, you know, five, six, seven times, whatever. You're like, Kate, how do you know if you've seen a difference? Like what the hell? I mean, listen, it is definitely hard to tell with all the skincare I use, like what is actually having an effect, but this is how I know it's working. I went and had a facial at Rescue Spa in New York City and they have incredible incredible estheticians there. It was like the most intense facial I'd ever had. And this woman did like a test on my skin. She did like a bounce test. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the technical terms are, but she was like getting a magnifying glass and like looking at my skin and like, you know, testing its, I guess, texture and its bounciness. They are brutal there. They will tell you like anything that's wrong with your skin. Even if you think you're walking in, you're like, <laughs> my skin is bomb. They're not gonna have any thing to say oh wait yes they will she had very little to say when she did say was your skin is very supple and bouncy and incredibly clean for someone who doesn't you know get a lot of facials i cheers myself after that i'll tell you what but what i really should cheers is this mask i mean that's pretty much the best i can do in terms of telling you a kind of change i've seen i feel like this is a video filled with limited edition stuff so i don't know i guess run do not walk but the next thing i want to talk about is a piece of clothing that i pretty much can't get over. This is the limited edition Glossier hoodie. I was going to wear it for this video, but to be honest with you, I just, I probably would have gotten sweaty because it's just not quite cold enough yet to film in a hoodie. This is so luxe. So I have their original hoodie, which is their pink hoodie. I saw Michelle wear it and I was like, what the hell is that? I have to have that. These are the most luxe structured, like heavy weight, but also not overly hot sweatshirts I have ever seen. I just love this for fall and winter. It is so cozy and it has all these little like black and gray speckles. What? I don't know where else you could get this quality of a hoodie for $45. I honestly, Honestly, if I were to price this, I would assume this is around $80. The last thing I want to talk about is underwear. Okay, just 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 hear me out here. There is this company I discovered. I think they're relatively new. They're called Parade. I found them late at night drinking wine on Instagram. It was it was a targeted ad. I mean, I'm a total sucker. What actually initially pulled me in was their marketing. I love their campaign. It's all about inclusivity, all kinds of different body types. And they looked so comfortable. And I just really, you know, when your underwear just gets so raggedy and you're like, I've had these for eight to 10 years. That's embarrassing. This underwear from Parade is the most comfortable underwear I have ever worn. They have tons of different styles. I prefer, you know, like a brief bikini style, but you know, they have thongs, they have really cute little boy shorts, they have cheekies, all that stuff. And it's all made with this like really stretchy sort of mesh material. I just don't understand what this material is, but I literally feel like I'm wearing nothing. And don't you hate it when you get under wear and you can feel it like you can kind of feel it maybe cutting in or like oh maybe I should have sized up in these I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about but I don't want to feel like a sausage in my undies that's not happening with these all right okay I've talked about underwear enough everything I talked about today is of course linked down below in the description box thank you guys so much for watching my September favorites okay, I have to cheers something and this is really this is really hard this time I don't know I, I would cheers the rare beauty but I've already done that before it's between the hoodie, the Dr. Dennis Gross mask, and this eyeshadow, but I don't want to clink the mask and they won't make any sound if I clink the sweatshirt, so it's gonna have to be this. Kosa's 10 second eyeshadow and astronaut, good job! Cheers till next time!